Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for viewing today's session. Uh, for those who are actually the existing viewers, uh, this is our episode number 30, uh, which actually we are featuring a very interesting person today. Because all this while, it's always about professionals and uh, people from ACC and things like that. But this round, we want to get uh, someone from uh, in this student background who is actually going to become a professional very, very soon. So today we have Mr. Sharmendra all the way from Malaysia. And uh, before going into the session, I'm going to share about uh, what is this Crazy Geek YouTube channel all about for those who are very new today. So Crazy Geek YouTube channel is a channel which bridges whatever you're studying in your college or school and what you actually apply at work. Uh, but do take uh, note that we are going to only focus on Malaysian uh, syllabus in terms of tax. But for audit and accounts, it's going to be international. Uh, so, yeah, today uh, we have uh, Mr. Sharmendra. So let's not wait. Uh, let's ask certain questions from him. And also, first of all, uh, hi, Sharmendra. How are you doing? Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm good. Uh, so maybe you want to share a little bit about yourself. Maybe from, okay, sure. yeah, from this yeah, yeah. Uh, college and uh, what are you doing currently? Okay, so I'm. Uh, I just finished my. Okay, by the way, I'm studying at uh, Sydney University, Bachelor of Accounting and Finance. Uh, so uh, I've done. I've just done my examinations. Currently, I'm waiting for my results and waiting for my results. So that, uh, and then uh, yeah, that's all for currently. So I mean, I'm waiting for my result. Once I got my result, I try applying for the professional. I mean, I, I mean, I've applied for the professional exams. Uh, ACC. Okay. I've registered as a stu- I mean, student, but I'm still waiting for the transcript in order to get my exemptions from uh, the ACC professional papers. Okay, so you are pretty much on a break before you go into your working world. Yeah, planning to take my break for at least until the end of this year. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning not to go for any finding job for now. Okay, okay. So I feel like you- I need to break for now. Okay. So, how was your college life? Is it exciting learning about accounting and things like that? Yeah, it was. Enjo- I mean, it was. It was exciting each and everything. But uh, me, as a, uh, I think I've told you about this before. As a uh, joining accounting was an accident for me. Okay. Yeah. So, so without any accounting background from A levels, with um, only I only took uh, mathematics and further mathematics in my A levels. And uh, without any background, so it was like a, a bit of shock kind of moment for at least okay. first year. First years were okay. It was okay since it's most more to basic and MPU subjects. But in second year, I struggled, but I able to pass all my subjects. So successfully for the three years, I survived. <laughs> I think you will have fun very soon because the the exciting part of uh, accounting field actually it's not about the knowledge that you learn. It's actually when you apply it. So I hope you will find the excitement very soon. I'm really waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, all the best for that. Uh, let's go for today's sessions. My very first question is, uh, when you were a student, right, uh, what was your expectations towards the workplace itself? When I was a student, uh, of course, uh, okay, personally for my expectation uh, as a student or as a, a person who is having a long-term goals in to be a professional, highly professional or in a big post. So I would expect a big corporation, a corporation, a well-known corporation, whether it's a foreign corporation or in Malaysia or GLC. But uh, so that's first thing I, I, I always in my, keep in my mind, not to go for a small organization, but in, a okay. big, in order to fulfill my to no, it's a kind of uh, thing that you always want to do, want to be in executive positions. Yes, so yes, that kind yes. of thing. Second thing, I always wanted to have a fun full of colleagues, working colleagues. So because colleagues are the main important uh, that give us drive to achieving something, whether it's a project work or individual thing, or whether to in order to even to go to work also. It's like a motivation for us to meet our friends and then to talk with them. Beside the working life, yeah. it's this kind of social life is also important. So I always expect that kind of things. 
Lepas ya, very true. Uh, we work for many hours. Uh, that's the truth. Yeah, yeah. Accounting field, accounting audit or tax, you work for many, many hours. So you need to have a social life. <laughs> yeah, that's but as a beginner also, as a beginner also, I would expect someone to to guide me. Okay. Uh, to guide me, yeah. Someone who guides you. Thank you so much for the answer. Let's go for my next question. Okay, next question is: Do you think there is a do you think there is a gap between what you have studied in college and what are you actually applying at work? Uh, not much, but uh, in in studies, we, we, basic the formulas are seen: uh, credit, debit, and asset equals to the liabilities and this one all. So that's a basic of business. So we are following that in the working environment also. But uh, the the the, part, the the application method is different. We are there. We are using a software, UBS, SQL, all this. So in in studies, it's more to different. It's more to paperwork and assignments, all this. So so far, based on my experience, uh, not much uh, differences. Okay, thank you so much. Let's go for my third question. Yeah, have you ever done any part-time job or internship during your study period? Actually, you said that you actually had uh done an internship. Yeah. yeah. How was that experience? In my internship. Uh, due to, okay, it's actually my my for for my university. It's a four months, but due to the PKP time, I couldn't able to secure uh, an internship before the PKP. So I only able to do my internship. I apply for almost like eighty to ninety companies, whether big boss, small companies, big organization, all. But only two were able to for I mean for interview, and one chose me. So it's actually an animation company owned by a Chinese. So uh, I've done my internship for there for almost two and a half months. Uh, I I was guided by a. What assistant accountant, account executive there? So she, I, my, my, this one is mostly by using a UBS system to key in all the data or whatever the sales, um, the claims, everything, and uh, and any other ad hoc works. Okay, so during that period. Yeah, yeah, definitely, I enjoyed. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely, I enjoyed the period. That that was a nice, good. I mean the, the my my. My co colleagues was good, so that is why I able to learn and also mm-hmm. enjoy the three two and a half months. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, let's go for my next question. I think uh, this is something depends on the student. It's a very subjective question. Uh, if you have given a chance to work on some little projects related to your field, yeah, uh, means accounts, tax, or audit. Would you mind working on it, even though that might jeopardize your study period? I've never done that before during my study period, but in future, if I'm doing my masters or continuing my ACC, I would definitely will try to join. Will will try to if I got my opportunity to do a small project work, definitely do that. Because uh, during my uh, during my study time, besides that, I'm also helping my father's business. So. I had a little hard time to manage my time between the studies, my father's business. So, so that's why I couldn't do it. But maybe in future I'll definitely do it. But do you think you will recommend students to do it so that they will understand the, whatever they are studying much more better? If it's related to something or uh, related to something of finance, definitely it will be it will be good for students. If they are taking a project like that. Yeah, thank you so much for that. I think uh, one thing that I want to actually emphasize in this YouTube channel itself is about um, whenever you are learning something, a concept or things like that, try to apply it lively. Uh, try to apply it on the spot so that you know how it is being applied. If not, after a few years when you go back to your work, you almost forgotten all the, all those things that you have learned uh, before because you are not applied. Uh, yet with the you know workplace and things like that so yeah thank you for that answer my very last question have you ever spoke to any professionals in your field in person uh, to understand more about what they do and how is their career look like uh, no i never done that because uh, since uh, the accounting i mean me joining into the accounting uh, studies was uh, like i said so uh, 
I wasn't able to find any networking with the accounting accountants, any other related to finance or something like that. Because before before I joining uh, my studies in the Bachelor of Accounting, I I was I mean uh, I was more interested in the actual science. So what I did, I joined the actual student sessions, working with them. Mm-hmm. Participate with their program. Also, I have organized a conference. Also, I have more. I have a, more, a lot of networking with the actual, but not with the accounting. But recently, I met a person called Lavanya. <laughs> She's the first one. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome, most welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I hope I have added value to you. And uh, if you haven't spoken to any professionals yet, definitely go and check out our other videos. There are many professionals in accounting itself, and who are very very passionate to share their expertise with you. So you can definitely check them out. Okay, we are almost to our end uh, of our session. So I just want to wrap up a few things and also ask you uh, a final question. Like, uh, do you have anything else you want to share with them, with with the audience here, which means the students, uh, fresh graduates, and things like that? Uh, share? That is, I mean, apart from study, being study of assignment, try to improve improve your soft skills, social skills, and uh, software. I mean, software you like UBS, all this way, it will be helpful and you'll be. Add value during your internship, whether it's internship, interviews, or job interviews. Mm-hmm. Always, uh, we have to be stand out in class. So yeah, correct. That's, that's one dollar <laughs> advice. <laughs> we, Not advice, it's just a tip. Just a suggestion. I just a su- recommendation. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what you are actually doing. Because if you are not doing, then you won't actually suggest that, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that that actually makes a lot of difference. Uh, really speaking, example like uh, you know, I think the very first step is actually telling yes for the invite. <laughs> When I said, uh, "Can you become a speaker?" in terms of uh, you know the students' perspective to talk about this. Thank you so much for that. I think it's a great honor to have you on board and also sharing your time with us. Okay, my final. I do have few things that I want to share as a final conclusion for this. Uh, first one is whatever you have said here, right? It's it's all based on your experiences and things yeah. like that. And why I actually uh, bring in students, you know, many people actually bring in professionals and things like that because students. It's just a student, you see. We feel like student are. Um, Someone who doesn't actually have the voice to to share their opinions and things like that. But then I do uh, totally agree that uh, students do have voices, and they need to voice it out so that other uh, professionals actually aware of what we all want. So in this, uh, when we are doing this, we can actually bridge the gap between what the employer wants and what the employee want to. So that is my end goal for this session, and my very final question, uh, Sharmendra. As a student, do you recommend uh, students to actually watch a Crazy Geek YouTube channel, and do you think that will help them in their career? Definitely, Crazy Geek is doing something new. I mean, I've never seen. Uh, there may be a lot of, but but in Malaysia, it's very rare. So I think it's uh, good for students or uh, even. Uh, Fresh graduate or even a working employees to watch Crazy Geeks, I really recommend that. I'll I've I've already mentioned to my f- friends, some of my friends, my classmates about the Crazy Geeks. Thank you for the support. Then. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and uh, I think I am already wrapping up uh, this whole thing. Um, is there any other topics do you want us to cover in our upcoming, uh, you know, YouTube mm-hmm. videos? If you have any, please do let us know through this video, or you can always comment uh, in the video later too. If you have now, it will be very yeah for very for, nice. for now <laughs> yeah for now for now right? suggestion yeah any suggestion or anything you want to know okay uh, most of the students they are not aware with uh, I mean they are not uh, they are some, like me I am confused with what are the auditors or tax uh, accounts. The departments, how it's like, or uh, what are their job description, or something like, what are their, what they will do like, in that day on a day to day basis. Yeah, day to day basis. So most of them are not like, uh, so it's it will be better if some experienced or 
someone a knowledge on that if they give a talk on that the topic so oh, that's a very very good suggestion thank you so much sharmendra i think i'll i'll cover it very soon i'll find the speakers for that and i'll definitely cover that <laughs> okay. yeah thank you so much for your time is there anything you want to say of uh, course uh, uh, thank you very much ms lamanya for giving me this opportunity